Hello everybody and welcome back to Dim Barnyard Builds. This is Evan. Uh, there's going to be a lot of voiceover work in this one because it wasn't picking up that good on my phone. Uh, starting out, we have Flaming Freddy showing us some tips and tricks on patina work. We don't usually get to do this type of stuff at school, so he's taking the opportunity of my truck to show us how to do it. He's also going to be spraying parts of it, so uh, stay tuned. Okay, so you can see on here there is a lot of dust and usually we would take all that off. But we're going to leave it because it's going to provide the texture we need. Because throughout the years, these old trucks, they, uh, the sun and the other elements really beat up on them. And we know Farmer Joe beat up on them. Uh, you can just look at them and see everything. But anyways, we want to kind of recreate that. We don't want to make it too perfect because then it's not believable. And it's not going to look natural at all. So that's what we're doing right here. And we're putting this black under there in order to make sure that whenever we start sanding because this is orange we can get some of that black that would have normally been up under uh the paint on these So as you can see here, we did achieve getting most of it black. It's a little striped, this and that. It doesn't matter. It's going to be going up under the yellow. It's just going to be there for us to sand it to look like uh, like the sun has faded it and things like that, uh, places where nicks are going to be. And as we go into it, you can see the Freddy is not trying to lay it on thick everywhere. He's trying to make sure that he leaves it light in some spots because we're going to have to be sanding through there anyways, and he's explaining this as he's spraying Okay, so as you can see, the paint's turned out good so far. Uh, still got to do some paint work where skim coated the rocker there. Also, uh, walking around to the tailgate, we're going to try to leave it as original as possible. Still got the dealer sticker and everything. On the sides, I went ahead and got all the black put over the spots where they had done prior Bondo work and everything. So when we sand through, we're not going to get straight Bondo. Did the same thing on the fender. But, yeah, I think it's going to look really good. Next up is painting the roof white. So, just working on this truck and noticed, pretty sure a spider egg hatched. Yeah, that's great. So this is just some Rust-Oleum enamel paint or whatever. Didn't want to use anything oil-based because it could soft and pop. Uh, but anyways, I'm just gonna spray it on here over this rust. I had already sanded it down with a dual action sander. So. And right here, we're gonna start sanding with it with a block. And I was like, yeah, this ain't gonna cut it. So I swapped over to my DA and uh, I was really just focusing on areas where uh, I thought the sun might have hit, so middle could have caused sun fade on the arches, uh, just stuff like that. Just trying to get some of that old rust to come through, but not too much. Uh, we want it to look ugly and pretty at the same time, so that's what we're going for. And I'm just going to go ahead and wipe it down. Uh, just try to get all this rust water off <laughs> from wet sanding. Uh, just try to see exactly what I've done and see how good it comes out. Try 
tried to make it look like it would have originally been sun faded kind of towards the front mm -hmm. more so than like on the edges of it. I think it turned out pretty good. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave them. I kind of like the original rust on it. But it, I mean, this roof turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Yeah. And it was right here that I decided that I was going to paint the pillars because although I love the original rust, uh, the white behind it didn't really go with the whiteness of the roof now. So you'll see that here in just a second. All right, got some work done today. Rockers, paint match, leaving the dent because farm truck. Roof done. Distressed. Walked around here. Still got to do this side of the truck, but that should be done tomorrow. So it's coming. Well, it's sitting like a truck now. Okay, got a uh, matching wheel and tire on the front of this truck, and now it sits just right no more pimpling to the driver's side all right so just had some time to go on a little excursion today pick up some truck parts just happened to be a camper top i guess this truck's kind of going to have that farm truck look wasn't exactly what i was going for when i started this but after seeing some of the patina work all looking good and the way it does uh, just seeing this deal, 50 bucks on Marketplace. It's missing the back window. We can plexiglass that if we need to. But it kind of plays into the look I'm going for of the truck. Uh, anyways, we got it. We're heading back. It is strapped in the most sketchy way possible, sitting on top of the fenders of the trailer. So the trailer wasn't wide enough. We were going to kind of leave it at an angle, but uh, it's strapped down. They said they drove the truck that they got it on <laughs> all the way back from Alabama to Ringgold, Georgia, without it even being bolted down. So we're gonna hope that I have a little bit bet as good a luck as they got. So yeah, fun. It's literally sitting on the fenders of the trailer. This truck is slowly becoming a truck that I'm falling in love with, but the plan isn't to keep it. Might enjoy it for a month or two, hoping to get the engine swap done. Oh well, engine swap, engine install, there is no engine, no trans. Uh, to get those engine sounds, we've just been sticking a guy in the engine bay and letting him go, bop, 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 you know. But uh, it's, uh, it's getting there. It's been a fun, short, really quick journey. Should have it in clear coat next week and over to the barn to get the motor put in. So uh, we're gonna hope that we can find some wheels had a good deal on some, didn't get there in time. Uh, the wheels that are on it are good, but there's one that mismatches, and to get one that's rusted perfectly and whatever, we'll have to patina it as well. So I don't know if we're gonna do that or find some different wheels if we can get a good deal. So yeah, just hoping that it, we can get this thing back in one piece, for $50, it's a steal. I think it's really gonna complete the look of the truck. And, uh, so really truck wheels we the brakes it's got disc brakes on it five lug converted it should be good i just have to get a new master cylinder and uh, maybe a proportion valve i don't know the shape of this one and uh i already got a wiring kit just in case i needed it i don't think i will and it needs a dash pad so it's kind of hard to beat all that uh this truck i got a heck of a deal on title should be in soon 
So we're really making progress and it's moments like these that I'm like, heck yeah, uh, this is something I can do and enjoy and not everything has to be perfect. So this is a fun build. So now we're back and we got the camper top and now we're in the booth waiting on the ochre to be blended and then some sanding and that'll be in next week's episode. Thank you for watching and if you haven't, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and stay tuned for next week. And also don't forget to follow me on TikTok and sometimes I'm going to post previews there of the next week's video at Dim Barnyard Builds.